Hi there, it's Brian Sebastian. Movie reviews more the Woman's Broadcast TV Network, which is now called Worldwide TV Network. I team Team 47 out of Franklin, Tennessee, and Women on TV.TV. And so this is a special show. Uh, Tasha has all of her friends on, and we've never done all of her friends at once. We've done individual mm. shows with them, which has been good. And then Angelica has just popped up. Her hair looks good. Nadia looks just, she looks like a, an African queen. And Tom, oh, yeah. and I can tell from your skin, just looks good. Hello, everybody. So, Tosh, I'm going to have you introduce everybody. Go ahead. All right. Well, welcome to Movie Reviews and More. And today we have two special ladies. We have Nadia and Angelica, both from Miami. And they are entrepreneurs, hustlers. Like, they are what a whole independent woman has got to be. So let's start with Nadia. Let us know who you are, what you do, and all that good stuff. Well, first and foremost, hi, Brian and Tosh and Jelly. What's good, girl? Um, thank you so much for having me on the interview once again. This is uh, really great. I'm super happy that um, you guys wanted to have me again. Um, so as, they, as Tosh said, my name is Nadia Adelaide. I am an entrepreneur in every sense of the word. I dabble m mainly in filmmaking, acting, uh, music, anything creative like is um, definitely my passion. And now I'm just, you know, in that stage where I'm figuring it all out, continuing to push and hustle through and, and manifest the life that, you know, was destined for me. So that's me. Yes. Oh, I love that. Manifesting, like, is just such a big, it hits home. So yes, yeah. Nadia, yes, yes. Angelica? Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Angelica Capuzzo. Thank you again, Brian, for having me on your movie reviews and more. Um, I just recently started within this year opening up my own brand, Capuzzo Couture, designing my own bikinis, masks, and more. And I'm still starting that off, but I'm excited to be here. I um, started, I sold my first sundress last week. Very exciting to tell you guys about it. So, <laughs> so I'm an inspiring designer. What was that feeling like? It was really, really exciting and nerve wracking because this gentleman reached out to me and wanted to design a sundress for his girlfriend because he was going to propose to her. Wow. So that was really nerve wracking. And she said yes. And I even put their little date inside of the mask. So it's like a whole outfit that I'll always remember. So Nadia, we have to we we have to rewind with Angelica because first she didn't want to start making masks, and I said no, make masks. They're never going to go away for five years. So what's been happening on the mask side of things now? Yeah, so I'm still selling masks, and everybody is still buying them. Like everybody, I actually have one of hers. Oh, yes, right here, cute. super cute, very comfy. And let me tell you, nothing is gonna get in this mask because the material is like so good. So I love it. Thank you. I've been oh, I need to get one. I need to get one. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, and I can put your name on it. So um, I started working on this this morning, Brian, for you. Oh, it's how cool! Reviews. I just I like started that. doing it. Thank you. I'm not quite finished yet. I'm still practicing and trying to get it on there. But you see, I have your logo started working see, on it. You'll be the only one that's created that and everybody's going to want them. You have no idea what everybody wants when we pick something. And I'm going to say, hey, it looks of, really good. You know, her friend Thank out you. of Florida, she came up with it. And then the V for Vanguard, I'll tell you why that's yes. going to be important. Yes, I'm still looking for the a proper logo for that one because I have to find it online just to see the, like the proper one. I'm trying to find the perfect image that I can digitize and turn into an embroidery file. So You'll be the but first I one who creates them because I'm doing stuff with them. Okay. That's just happened like the last, uh, the last week. That's exciting. I yeah, um, thought you told me that you used to be part of the marching band for Vanguard. Uh, of, of the drum corps, well, now I'm going to be in a big part of what they're doing. I'm really happy about that. That's been like a lifelong dream for me. So it'd be like if you wanted to play a round of uh, a basketball game with the Lakers or LeBron or something like that. That's what it's like for me. That's exciting. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and that just happened like the last week. So now I'm really excited about all the stuff like that. So 
Uh, Tosh, let's start off with you. What's been happening when, since we all have never been together before, but we've all been together, they've all been together one-on-one -on, -one on the show. Start off with what you've been doing, what's been happening, and it's been probably, what, four months? All I know is this, yeah. it's been 22 weeks and I've done 157 shows. That's what I do now. Now, if you break that down, I'm gonna break this down to 15 episodes per season. Put that number together of how many we, that we've done. And she's uploaded all of them. And you've seen them, grow, haven't you? The what? I'm sorry? You've seen the numbers grow, haven't you? Oh, well, yeah. Like, I, I have access to your YouTube, so I can see all those <laughs> views that keep on coming up, like, daily. I'm like, wow, Brian is, like, famous on YouTube. <laughs> no one is doing what we're doing. So in the last, before she gets into describing what she's been doing, the last, uh, I think it was the last 48 hours, we went from 49,000, which was on a Saturday, and I'm like, what? I didn't think I was gonna get back to it because when I last, we dropped down to 32,000, which is more than what everybody's doing, but it was one of those things, more people are, are chiming outside of YouTube, meaning when I'm putting them all on different nine different platforms, people are seeing them on those other platforms besides YouTube. That's how it comes up. So if you look at the, the description I have on, on Instagram and Facebook, you'll see that. I've never seen that before. More people are watching this stuff outside of YouTube. That blew my mind. And it went up from uh, 146% to 200, uh, 276 percent in like five hours. We went from 49 to 53.2 or something like that. And my mouth dropped. It was within like five hours. And that told me a great deal. And I said, oh, I can maybe get to 55. So today I'm gonna see if I can get to 55,000. Honestly, it's all about consistency. Yeah. If you're super consistent with putting stuff up, like your views are gonna come. Everyone's yeah. on YouTube all the and time. My goal is, I'm, and, I, and I don't even know if I can do this, do I have enough time and energy to, to get it to 100,000? I'm not sure yet, but I'll go to 55 and we'll see what happens at that point, because it's a lot of work, as you know. But anyhow, Tosh, just stop off. Where have you been? What's been happening with you the last couple months? All right. Well, there's been some exciting stuff that's been happening. So one of my, my first song, Gosala, ended up on a playlist in Europe um, uh, by Colors X Studios. And it's literally been buzzing like all over Europe, like France, Germany, like all European countries, like out of nowhere. One day I was looking at my Apple Music and then I see like streams from like, not the US, but like, everywhere in Europe and I was like what is going on and I found out that my song made it to that playlist which has over 20,000 people that listen to the playlist so that was uh wow. I was I was really really excited about that I was like oh my god finally something is happening world tour <laughs> coming up I know <laughs> yes so um that's one of the good things that has happened since and i just booked my first podcast that i'll be uh inter i'll be uh i just had a tongue twister i'll be they're, interviewing they're gonna interview you yeah they're gonna interview me on a podcast so i'm actually i'm pretty pumped about that because i just i love talking so this is like perfect so th that's uh, that's that's some stuff that's been happening and today i just got a link to an interview that they that a magazine did about my um first song gostala so it's been it's stuff is is happening you know it's it, it takes a while but when it starts happening it starts like in a progress going up and i'm just i'm really happy about the journey and it's been it's been going good. I have a new song that's coming out. Maybe, hopefully, next month. It's still being done, and their music video is already done. So, been a lot of. I've been. Uh, I've been working a lot, like creatively, creatively. Sorry, I can't speak today. It's just I have all these beautiful people on my screen, and I just get excited. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh my gosh, that's. I've been going at it. I've been going at it. So I'm. Thank you. I'm. I'm I'm really happy about my consistency and determination to to make it out there in these in these uh, music industry streets. Mm -hmm. And then That's Nadia, what are you been doing? Oh, oh, go ahead, Angela. Go no, ahead. no, 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 no. Go ahead. And uh, Nadia, go ahead. What have you been doing? Oh my gosh. Um, so I always feel so weird talking about myself and what's <laughs> been up, but uh, <laughs> I got to get out of that. 
Um, just staying creative. Um, since we last spoke, Brian and Taj in that interview, I did. I was fortunate enough and blessed enough to book another commercial. Um, I went to New York to go shoot that one, and uh, it is playing um, digitally. Uh, I'm not sure if it's televised yet, but you know it's out there, and that's pretty cool. Something else to add to my resume. Besides that, I'm just getting more into shooting, more into creating, um, really building a network of, of creative shooters and, and filmmakers alike to, to help me and inspire me to get off my butt and really go out there. I have a, I bought a $2,000 camera that, it just a camera, I realized that, you know, Outside of this camera, it's way more money than just that. <laughs> like, you, know, you need so much more to actually make it work. But um, I'm, I'm learning it and I'm getting, you know, comfortable with shooting. I actually just, as Tosh said, went to LA and shot a short scene that I wrote. I met up with an actor out there that I know and um, we shot that just in our Airbnb, something really short and simple. But, you know, I, I was proud of myself that I made it happen and saw it through. And then just continuing down that path, you know, it feels good to, 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 to love what you do, to actually love what you get out in the world and then do. So it's cool. You're forgetting about your master's. Oh my God. Yeah. And I, <laughs> and I got a degree. <laughs> oh, congratulations. You. How did you figure out that? that? Thank you. Andrew. I don't I know. Thank you, Enzo. My brain is mush sometimes, but yeah, I recently received my master's degree in marketing from FIU. Super excited about that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, again. Was- Talk about yeah. which commercials. So you, when we, well, last had you on, you had, uh, you had just done the Burger King commercial. So what's this other commercial? So talk about the Burger King commercial. What's come from that lately and, and the other one you just shot? So the Burger King commercial, um, lately it's just uh, a, a couple more voiceovers. I'm still in communication with that specific creative team that hired me. Um, so that's always good to just keep you know, in cahoots with them. This new commercial though is for a coffee subscription company called Drink Trade. Um, I, don't, I, I wasn't familiar with the brand before shooting it, but now I know of it. And uh, that's pretty cool. They're, you know, they have a really decent following and um, uh, awareness about their brand. And I also shot a track phone commercial. Um, not too many millennials know about track phone though, because you know that the old prepaid phone where you had to, you know, buy the minutes. I shot that as well. But um, yeah, little stuff here and there. I'm still submitting, still out there, still putting myself out there. So. We'll see. 2020 is endless, man. I mean, the possibilities are endless in 2020, honestly. I was, I was like, 2020 needs to end. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> that's a, I corrected myself, yeah. It, it needs to end, but knowing that the possibilities are endless, that's what keeps me going. <laughs> Here's the thing on that. It's, and again, it's about being creative. Everybody was able to start from scratch. I mean, I, I, I never stopped because I knew this was coming, like I said. But everybody was able to, to start from scratch and then, and then be creative and think outside their box because they had no choice. Either you're going to be depressed and suffer for anxiety and in, uh, unfortunately lose your life and your business, or you're able, okay, let me do this. Like Angelica, what she, you know, when I talked to her like this, she didn't really want to do a mask. And I'm like, no, you need to do a mask. And I said, watch and see what happens. Because I go, I want you to create these two things. You watch and see when I wear that movie reviews and more mask on the show, and you watch and see what happens with the Vanguard. Watch and see what's going to happen to your business because you're the only one that I asked to create it. I've had many other people say, Brian, Cute Booty wants to make me a mask. and said, oh, that's great. And you, you ever heard of Cute Booty? You get, woman ever heard of Cute Booty at all? The clothing line? I feel like I have. You want to look at cutebooty.com. They're going to make me a mask. And I said, oh, I have someone in Florida who's making it. I'm just waiting. But believe me, I almost said yes because I'm waiting, you know? Yeah. Uh, but not only them, but a couple other people. So I said, I'm a loyalist. So I said, okay, it's got to be Angelica. So uh, Angelica, your turn. Tell us everything. What's going on now? Oh, me? Yes. So with me, other than that, um, I'm meeting a couple new machines that are coming that should be helping out with all my new stuff. I have recently started. I got my boxes for shipping out my materials. I have a few masks in here, different ones. I'm waiting to sell them out. Um, other than that, 
I'm trying to stay consistent. I'm trying to um, get my thoughts together. My birthday is coming up and I want to create a new collection by my birthday that I can put out there and show that I've done. I'm still working on that. And then Art Basel's right around the corner and I want to do something for Art Basel as well and get more involved in that. Try to get my name out there through that as well. Is, is, Art, Art, is Art still going to do something, do you know? To be honest, I'm not sure. I'm not that sure. That would be probably December, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They might probably might, they may do something like social distancing where you come and view the art. That's what I can only imagine might happen. I don't see like the big crowds like usual, but they'll probably try to do something still to make. Show us a couple of your mask and I love your top there, your bikini top that you're wearing. That's pretty. Thank you. I made it. It matches this dress that I made. This is actually the sundress that I sent her. Um, there's only oh, two. Beautiful. So, wow. Yeah. That definitely looks like an like like an engagement. Like we're about to get proposed you know, bye. Yeah, I know. I'm so excited for them. I can't wait to see like- No, I, I want you to, I want you to put the camera back on that dress. That dress is beautiful. Dress? It's gorgeous. It's right there. I like that. Yes. So the woman, dress itself, if I was a woman, yeah. I would want to wear that. You would want <laughs> yeah, it, right? <laughs> yeah. It looks pretty. Is looks there pretty. a slit? Is there yeah, a slit? Yeah, so there's two the slits in it um, oh. up the thighs. So it's very high cut, very sexy, oh. and it's really tight. He said that he wanted it to fit her perfectly. So I'm so excited. I can't wait to see the pictures of her actually wearing it though. So. How long did it take you to make it? Um, well, the first one I did, it took me maybe like, I worked on it a little bit for a couple of days in a row until I finally got it. The first one I made, it wasn't perfect. I didn't really like how it came out. So then um, I bought more fabric and I remade the dress and it came out perfect. So I'm learning every time I go and I make something. So this one's not perfect, but the second one I made was. So it takes about, in total, maybe 12 hours. My cat is really loud. I don't know if you Oh my it. God, is that Mozart? <laughs> yeah. Or is that the new one? What's the yeah. new one? The black one. It's the big one. Okay. The white one, yeah. My cats are like- Her cats are people. amazing. Her cats are like awesome. Her cats are just, they Terrible. give you back massages, like literally. <laughs> oh, how cool. You want to see my cat, Brian? Yeah. They have no fur. <laughs> no fur. It's a was it a Finx? Sphinx? Hat, yeah. Well, they're so cute. Momo they and literally Jim, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Nadia, they when, literally you went like, to, uh, when you went out to uh, LA, did you just fly yourself? Talk about that experience when she comes back with her cat. Okay. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> That's a that's a that's a snapshot right there. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So they're the ones that you hear talking in the background. Sorry. <laughs> Angelica, um, what else would you think you'd be creating? Because all of a sudden, this is what came to my mind. I don't know if you would do it. I I I, I don't know if you would do it, but I see you creating like a hoodie that goes with the mask, what goes with the top. Would you do something like that too? A hoodie. I would, I with personally, the mask I that goes with the top. A mask, oh yeah, for sure, a mask that matches the top. Yes, of course, I already made a matching mask for this, so it's perfect. But also, now it would be a hoodie because weather conditions are changing. So You're right. I like to wear a hoodie. Oh, I made a hat for the first time last week. Ah, oh, wait, let's see. She's getting creative, I like it. Oh, that's right. It. So it's a bucket hat, it's Naruto themed, like the Akatsuki. I have a thing for anime, so I had to make it. But it's a bucket hat, and I'm gonna try to make more. I kind of freestyled this one and made it myself, so. I actually like that. So, okay, so, okay. I can I, make you a hat with your logo right here. I got ideas for her now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to talk next time. I'm, as soon as this show ends, I'm gonna, if I think I have your number, you're gonna call you me. You do, and email me. Yeah, Text me, email me, either one. All right, Nadia, what was that experience of getting on a plane? Was that your first time getting on a plane during all the stuff going out? What was that experience like? And did you go by yourself? Did you have family with you? Um, well, I've been on a plane um, numerous times before, but this trip was kind of, um, it, it started initially as just a vacation, kind of graduation celebratory trip. Um, but then I'm like, you know, while I'm out there, let me just work and do some stuff that I love. So I invited my two friends. One of them was all, is also an actress and a musician. So she came out there and she was actually starring in the, 
the scene that I wrote and shot, uh, as well as the other actor that I met out met up with out there. So that was pretty cool. It wasn't, you know, anything out of the ordinary for me. The only thing was just traveling with all my camera and all my sensitive, fragile equipment. That was a little scary, but you know, I was I packed it up really well and and was able to to do it. So it was fun. Would you ever um, direct or produce music videos, Nadia? Oh yeah, for sure. I've done my own, so I would do it for someone else. Yeah. <laughs> Tasha. <laughs> Tasha. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, text me after this. <laughs> <laughs> so when 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 will be when will wow what is going on with my t like t talking today? When will we be able to see what you shot in LA? So that is to be a now, to be decided. Um, so right now my plan is to just rack up on a bunch of different films. I start, I'm trying to start this, this movement where I'm creating multiple short scenes. I wanna call them mini movies, no more than three to five minutes. Um, and then really rack up on them. And, uh, and once the time is right, when I have a lot of, of momentum and you know have the, the awareness and visibility that I plan to, you know, curate, then I want to release them like maybe bi-weekly. But to be right. honest, probably nowhere, no time soon. I have like three under my belt right now, still being edited in the editing process and sound uh, fixing process and everything like that. But yeah, I just got to keep going. Where are you putting up your short videos, short stories? So right now that's still underway. I'm figuring out a way to how to, uh, make it how to monetize it when people are viewing um i have a couple ideas not sure not finalized yet so but i'll let you know once they are what is but, it is it a short it's mini movies so a super short <clears throat> it's called movie reviews and more <laughs> <laughs> everyone's having this cough today <laughs> we'll definitely do it <laughs> let, me be, let me be crystal clear then it's called movie reviews and more what do I do? I pick great movies and put them in film festivals and things like that. And what happens? They go on and win awards. Well, I need your number, Brian. That's all I'm hearing. <laughs> I need your contact well, information. This lady right above you, Tasha, has it. Okay. <laughs> I'm the middleman. <laughs> this, this, is, this is why I wanted to do the show. I wanted to see a follow-up of where everybody and what everybody was doing, because if you think about it, your year has actually been really good. Not everybody can say that, and that's really unfortunate. And then and my job, what I really want to do is I want to help those people get inspired. So you three girls, you can you can help those people. So what happens, and Tasha knows this now because she sees the numbers. What happens when we do these shows, because I'm starting to air them starting next week, once you start to share them three and five times, watch and see what happens. Watch and see what happens with your brands. Watch and see what happens with your eventual careers. Watch and see what happens with your music because when Tasha was on and I put her in contact with Eileen, Eileen is one of the, I think she's one of the best publicists around the world. The clients that she has, watch and see what happens with what we're doing. Like I said, we're at 6 million views a day and counting. I wanna be at 8 million views by the end of September. I will be at either at 10 or 11 by the end of this year. That's a day. Imagine, April 2nd, my goal is to be at 25 million views. April 2nd of next year. Tasha, do you not think I'm not going to get there of what you've seen so far? Oh, no. I think you're going to surpass that for sure. <laughs> but that's my for goal. Sure. So imagine what's going to happen because now we have the Dream Weaver Artist Ranch. We have the property. So, Angelica, imagine when you come out to Los Angeles and you come to our Dream Weaver, the stuff that you will be creating, people will buy from you because... I challenge you to create something and you took it up. All I ask is people, if I challenge you, that means I have an idea. I just got off the phone, which is why we started late. I had this photographer, I said, I want you to come to our show. Um, do you want me to bring the camera? And I'm like, you're a photographer, you should always bring your camera. Right, Nadia? That's a, what kind of question do you have to ask? I literally had to tell you that. If I'm talking to the world's best photographers, they shot everything classic from Jimi Hendrix right up to Queen, what, what film won best film last year? Bohemian Rhapsody. It's from the photographer, Neil Preston, and, not, and uh, uh, Tasha, you'll probably be on the show. He took all the iconic rock 
shots of everybody, starting with Jimi Hendrix. You can imagine that. He's still alive. So as a photographer, I said, you don't go anywhere without your camera. I don't mm -hmm. care if they say no. You sneak it in, because guess what? What do we all have? We got a phone on our camera, don't we? Just because it's called a smartphone, that doesn't mean everybody's smart and knows what to do with it, right? <laughs> But Nadia, look at you, you did the smart thing. You went and bought a camera. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm waiting for my Sony camera to go. Why? Because we can create stuff. And one of the things you're gonna do, you may shoot Tosh's next video. You don't know. You may, you may come behind the scenes and watch Angelica, hey, Angelica, can I just watch you for a couple minutes here? Let me shoot some stuff. You might help me create my next um, collections. Yeah, promo like, a demo, like a promo, mm -hmm. a demo video. Yeah, promo, yeah. Yeah, for the collection. <laughs> All that. That's how you do it. That's how you get stuff because guess what you're doing? You create, you guys are creating things during a pandemic. Do you know how many people? So, all right. So 12, 13, 14, you're, there's only 14 people that I know that are creating things. That is pathetic. Out of all the thousands of people I know, the rest of them are really suffering and it bothers me. And I tell them, go outside, go take a walk, create something, think about something, get outside the four walls. You don't have to be around anybody. I do it in the hot Vegas sun, I'm walking around in 114, 116 degree weather, getting ideas. And I go back in the house and I start doing stuff. And Tasha can tell you this because she uploads the videos. You know, she uploads seven, that's seven videos I gotta do. I don't know how long it will take me to do it, but I'm doing it. So I'm inside the most, and then I gotta go outside. I'm like, oh, this is a great idea. This person should do this. So it's about the ideas. It's about feeding off of one and another and making it work because you gotta say, You'll never forget, Angelica, that you started this in 2020, right? Of course. You'll never forget that you got two commercials that were airing during a pandemic. One of them is a Burger King commercial, right? I don't know if anybody else is doing that. And Tasha, you woke up one day and said, what? I'm being streamed outside the U.S.? You've never even done a tour yet. Right? Hmm. I love the sound of all that. <laughs> Think about it. So again, there's only four months left. So this is why I tell everybody, you finished the year out strong. You finished the year out strong because January, February, which would normally be major conventions. And Angelica, you know, we don't know if Art Basil is going to do that, but that's a great thing that to do. Can they do it? I already know how to do it. I'm, I'm looking to see if they figured out how to do it, you know? <laughs> Angel, all right, so Angelica, start. Give your social media links so people can start to pay attention to what you're doing because people yeah. don't know you yet. Okay, so my social media on IG is at Angelica Capuzzo, and for all of my designs, it's at Capuzzo Couture, C-A-P-U-Z-Z-O-C-O-U-T-U-R-E. Boy, she's, she's full of confidence now. I'm got <laughs> going on now. She's like, this is what it is. And she said it loud and clear. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Nadia, you? So you can follow me on all major um, social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, at Nadia underscore Adelaide. That's N-A-D-I-A -I -I underscore A-D-E-L-A-Y. My YouTube is just Adelaide, A-D-E-L-A-Y. And um, yeah, my website, uh, NadiaAdelaide.com. And Tosh? Well, me, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook as Vocally Tosh, and that is a T-A-S-H, like uh, not Tosh, like T-O-S-H point out, no. So Vocally Tosh, uh, Instagram and Facebook. And then um, my website is www.NatashaRumbos.com. And that's where you'll be able to find me. You can find me on all streaming platforms. Just search my name and you'll see all the songs that I have up. I couldn't be happier for all three. I can see the growth already. I'm really happy for you three. That, that, see, that makes me happy. I mean, and what's the average age of you guys? Well, I'm 25, even though I look 16. <laughs> I was going to say 25 is the average. I'm 24, and I think Angelica's 26. Yep, 24, 25, 26. 26, yeah. See, that's amazing still, because think about your friends. Think about what all of them are going through. Are they creating stuff? Are they getting anything done? Are they healthy? How are their family members doing? It's, it's not really good, and that's unfortunate. 
you know, the world has changed. Have you changed to be ahead of it? And that's the whole thing. And again, like I said, this is week 22. You know, you know how many people are buying these things now? Um, I, I couldn't be happier for the brands. I'm really, really happy for you guys. All right, so Tosh, between now and in, in the end of the year, there's only three and a half months left. And December may be a weird. We've never had a December like this. How do you finish the year strong? What are your goals? Oof. Well, my goal is for the end of the year. I definitely want to get on more playlists for sure on um, like Spotify or Apple Music or get some cool reviews in for one of my songs. Uh, that's definitely one of my goals. I've been like really emailing like magazines and stuff like that to be able to get that to happen and just get you know more more followers and more people getting to listen to my music and getting to know who I am as an artist and as a as just a regular human being so that those are my goals I definitely want to um be able as soon as venues start to open I really want to do like a local uh concert like not a con well, a concert yeah a concert yeah, yeah. but for like uh you know uh, any anyone in Miami so that's a that's a huge goal of mine I don't know if that'll be by the end of the year but early next year hopefully but that that's that's what I have in my head at the moment speaking hey, put it out there make it happen yes manifest that mm. Nadia <laughs> so by the time 2020 officially ends I hope to shoot a couple more uh, short scenes, have some more of those under my belt. I want to get booked in maybe two, three more commercials, God willing. I want to get booked out in LA for a commercial though. I'm manifesting that. I've been really, really trying to find some work out in LA. So I'm, I really want to do that. And um, just continue learning more and, and working more in this field. I, I've find so much happiness with it so I just want to continue down that, down that path and not stray away from it so that's a goal within itself to just continue down this path and yeah Angelica my goal by the end of the year is to officially have my website up have all my products on my website and ready to be sold to officially start the 2021 year already established and just working towards all my other designs and creations that I'm going to have and I want to be 100% official and ready to go by the new year that's good because you will, you'll end up hitting um, Fashion Week in a different way because they still haven't figured it out because I've been talking to a lot of them. Um, it's just interesting what they haven't figured out what maybe because I had two years, well, a year and a half advance notice on how to do these things. To me, it's like looking at the back of my hand. I'm like, how come they haven't figured this out yet? It's like people going to the movies. I got to ask you guys this real quick because we got about 60 seconds left. Tasha, would you go to the movies at all? No, only driving. I love driving, but driving's is different. Driving's is okay. Nadia, would you go? Driving's for sure. Netflix is my thing right now. What? I would go to the movies. I miss going to the movies. See, I miss going too. All right, so Angelica, why would you go to the movies? For the experience. It's different watching a movie at home than more risky than the movie theater. She, she, so she's safe right now. So she's the only one out of 83 people that I've asked right now. And she happens to be a woman. I think that's interesting. And I'll tell you why, because um, since the virus is still airborne, they still haven't had that filtration system. The movie theaters are starting to open up slow, but people forget no new movies are coming out, really. Their independence are coming, except for Tenet. It'll be interesting. Um, do I want movie theaters to succeed? I do. Um, do I love, do I miss going to the movies? I miss going to having popcorn. Um, my getaway and, and, and I'm stuck watching Netflix and, and Hulu and all that stuff. I'm getting links, but I'm spending more time on three computers and doing all the stuff that I have to do with the videos. And I just want to, I want to get away and you still have to remain safe. So that's why I can't wait to get on Dreamweaver because at that point I don't have to worry about it. And we're going to have our own blow up theater at that point. I can see Nadia coming out and creating something with all the stuff they're doing. And Tosh, you know, obviously she'll probably come out and sing. And Angelica, I can see her probably creating stuff for Dreamweaver for us. That would be very interesting because we don't have that person yet. So it'll be interesting to see who we choose to create stuff, you know? All right. So give you social media links one last time. Nadia. 
Nadia underscore Adelaide on Instagram and Facebook, uh, Instagram and Twitter, Facebook, Nadia Adelaide, as well as YouTube, Adelaide. And look for her stuff. Talk. Uh, Facebook and Instagram at Vocally Tosh. And then my website, www.natasharumbos.com. Angelica? Yes, all social media platforms, Angelica Capuzo, and then Capuzo Couture as well. I love that name. What a great name you came up with. All right, so everybody, this is Brian Sebastian, movie reviews and more. Nadia, movie reviews. So when it comes to all the stuff like that, hey, if you see someone out of smile, uh, obviously these, these three, three girls have it and I couldn't be happier for them. But there's a lot of people that, that need smiles. If you see people out there that don't have them, please give them one of yours because the world needs it. We will see you next week. <laughs>